Hi Leos, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and it's inspired in your current season. So if you'd like to know more details about it, you can check in the description box below. Or if you would like to know more details about my other um, services, you can email me. Or if you'd like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Leo's. I do feel like for many of you, there's a strong sense of a spiritual activation taking place where there's this pursuit for a deeper meaning, for a deeper purpose behind certain experiences um, you're facing. Some of you Leos here are in the midst of um, some sort of tension, some sort of conflict that you don't know how to break free from or how to find your way out of. So it's like there's a strong pull to access spirituality, to find answers, to find guidance, to find solutions to your problems overall. Many of you also have here an issue uh, that needs to be contemplated with more wisdom in order uh, for you to find um, an outcome of uh, some tricky situations that feels uh, comfortable to you so you want to sort something out throughout the next weeks but you want to do that in a way also where you find peace and find comfort with the measures you're about to take or with the actions the decisions again you're impelled to make forward and um, it's like many of you don't know what to do with a specific situation and you're quite uh troubled by it ongoingly as the month unfolds, especially when you're too stuck on the ego or you're too stuck on the problem itself and you don't find, you don't um, try to find, you know, answers outside of the ego uh, position. So it is a little complicated for some of you to find peace during the next weeks just because you're being pushed uh, beyond your comfort zone and beyond what you would like to have to do and what you would like again uh, to have to access to get that peace. It's almost like some of you need to really work hard for something you would like it to be just, you know, natural. Some of you could find that the process of um, just flowing, you know, just... Um, allowing is not that easy during August. Uh, for others of you, you might need to just find um, a ritual that makes sense to you, that works for you, to ease your mind and to find that deeper connection that allows you to, in the midst of chaos and in the midst of problems, to be in your best behavior. The Five of Wands is here represented in um, your soul position, so how the majority of you will be internalizing the experiences of the month. And the Five of Wands is a card that speaks about tension, that speaks about conflict, that speaks about also com 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 a competitive um, energy taking place. And also other times it speaks about um, being too much on the ego, stuck on ego rules. Uh, you know, ego, um, it's like e e ego demands that then contrast with uh, what you real, what you really after to find fulfillment and to find again that same peace that I was speaking about. The Five of Wands also speaks here that uh, for many of you, you could just find that it's difficult for you to stay too long um, in, it's like, it's, it's difficult for you to stay too long in one place during the month. So you could be feeling very restless. You could feel just uncomfortable, uh, you know, where you used to find comfort or where you used to have fun. There can be a sense of disharmony also in relationships, 
this harmony in uh, you know projects you have going on or uh, things you were kind of um, giving your energy to that now it feels like for some it feels like a mistake for some reason or for, for, for some it just feels like something you're not so sure anymore if you have it in you you know to keep pursuing this um, some of you Leos are very goal oriented but the way you move um, in terms of this goals, the way you act upon this goals, again, has a disharmony um, in it. So it's very easy to get upset um, during during this next week. It's very easy for you to get annoyed and then not even realize why. Hence, again, the need to take a step back and to find, you know, answers in a deeper place. I also feel here that for some of you, it could just be having some sort of uh, something feels out of place like there's an anomaly of sorts something that is present in your life or is present in a circumstance you're dealing with that don't belong or is you know it's not an element that usually is present and this might also be something you're trying to sort out why is that anomaly present why is that thing um that you know that thing that isn't you know that usually isn't there why is it there i keep getting like for some of you this might be also a sense of you starting to reminisce a lot about the past about um things that happened to you a while ago that you were relatively okay up until this moment in time and unconsciously with the Six of Cups, uh, you are driven also to make some sort of reflection and to, make, to have here some deeper understanding of uh, your past. Where do you have, you know, like there's something here about where do you, um, where do you, where, I'm sorry, like where have you come from and how, that background um, adds up to the present to the present time and uh, the position you are in the present time because for, for some of you there's a sense of there's some answers uh, that also can be gathered by looking in a deeper way or in a different way to your own past or to the background of circumstances that you know have built themselves up until this time especially for those of you that are feeling the discomfort that I was speaking or the tension or just the weird, strange sensation that does not make it possible just for you to find that contentment, for you to find that fulfillment, for you to find that even that motivation to keep pushing forward. Some of you, the majority of, he, of you here, it's about reassessment and really taking a step back where things were unfolding and moving forward and now you just, you feel the need to take a step back. For those of you in whichever area this happens that feel that need to take a step back, it's not because you're, you know, um, you're meant to give up on something necessarily or that you're losing steam, you're losing motivation or you're losing interest. It's more about that, the, 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 the underlying reasons for something you're involved um, in or you're about to be need to be, you know, addressed with a high priestess here. So it's like you need to really know yourself and know situations to the core to find that ease and to find that continuation of energy to give to give um to give to without it feeling like a huge cost or a huge sacrifice or a huge you know complication the high priestess also speaks about that strong intuition um that can be enhanced and can be very present especially as you reach more the end of the month i feel like if you feel something is up if you feel uh that there's you know something deeper to a situation to a person to a circumstance you're probably right and you are again advised to pursue that feeling that that hunch that something might not be exactly as um 
it looks like, especially also not only on the outside, but if you find yourself doing certain things, saying certain things, opting for certain things, and then finding that sense of uh, like questioning your motivations, it's also important that you tap into the energy of the high priestess because it is through her, through what she represents in, in her symbolism, um, that you, you can understand the whys, the whys. The whys are very important um, in the next weeks and there's a lot of questions to be made that are appropriate to be made even if you feel like by making those questions you might be disturbing um, important things to you so i hope you have a great month i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully we'll see each other soon